Hello guys, welcome back. As I said in the last episode, as this is part 2, I will be going over how to add a user profile page with a device. <coughs> okay, so um, this is just a project from the last video that I'll be working with. I have a simple server set up. So uh, let's start off by closing that down. Or, <coughs> yes. And uh, let's create a controller for the users. Let Rails generate controller and call it users. And for the user, we would like a show page. <coughs> so hit enter on that, and it will create a controller for us. Yep, it did. So in here, we can see we now have a users show page, and inside of the controller, we have a users controller. So um, <coughs> we want to make a custom profile page for a user. So what we would like uh, for this uh, method to do is to find a specific user. So let's create an instance variable called user, and let's find the user with the params of ID, right? <coughs> Uh, yes okay now we can uh, create or start up the server I should say I'm just gonna start it on port 8000 <coughs> let's refresh let's see if we are already signed in because I can't remember yes we are already signed in so let's try to go to a users page okay we get this routing error that's because we haven't set any routes up. <coughs> so uh, let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> oh, it's in the config and the routes.rb. And uh, let's do resources users. I'm just going to put it at the end here. Now, yep, there we go. Now we can uh, go into the view and put some things in here for our user information, right? So let's refer back to our instance variable we created in the controller. And let's say user dot, um, let's just do first name. <coughs> Right now it works. Then let's say uh, inside here we would also like the user dot last name. Yes, and here we can basically do whatever, add whatever we would like. We can say add user dot um, username to get the username or the if we would like to get the birthday and say add user dot birthday and so on. I think you get the point, right? <coughs> yes. So uh, to make this a little bit cleaner, what I like to do is to go in to our helpers here and um, inside of the users helper, <coughs> we can create a little function here. Let's just call this full name. And let's say add user dot first name plus space <coughs> add user dot last name. That is the full name. Therefore, we can just go in here and uh, say a full name. Yes, works. It works. <coughs> this is a bit cleaner, and I like to do that. Okay, so that was pretty simple, right? Uh, now you can uh, can add anything, uh, really, that anything of the users, uh, sort of, what they have put in as information, you can add that to their profile page. Um, but uh, what, we, what if we would like to add it so that we can see which user post which posts uh, since we have this uh, these posts here, right? Then where we can create it. What if we wanted to display 
inside of the user's profile which post the user had created. So we can do that. Uh, what we need to do though first is to create a mi migration. So let's say Rails generate migration and we're gonna add <coughs> a user ID to our posts table and the user ID is going to be an integer right so let's go ahead and run that and we can check it out in our migrations here the under DB migrate and we can see it's right here right here so it adds a column to the post table which is the use ID and, and that's an integer integer so let's rake DB migrate to migrate the database <coughs> and now if we go into our rails console and uh, make a connection with the use sorry make a post connection rather yes and let's say post we can see that there has been added a user ID to that okay so uh, yes that's that's great now let's go ahead get out of this console command K to clear terminal and let's uh, uh, run the server oh there we go <coughs> And let's see if it works. Let's create a post called whatever, and uh, let's create it. Now let's go into our <coughs> console, and let's uh, say post connection to establish a connection, and say post last. The use ID is nil, and that is because. That we forgot to uh, add what are they called relate a relationship uh, between the the models. So let's do that. <coughs> let's say each post that a post belongs to a user, and uh, each user can have many uh, posts. So let's say each user has many posts. Now we can uh, go ahead and start up start up this server, right? Whoopsie! And let's just delete this and let's create a new post. Let's say this post should have a user ID. I don't know what this was. Okay, let's create post <coughs> and let's go out of this server and run rail rails the run the rails console. Let's establish a connection and let's say post dot last and the user is still equal to Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, in here we have to uh, rewrite this. So when a, a new post is created, it's uh, we should say current user dot posts dot built instead, and we should also add this down here. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, now let's. Now we shall try. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now it should be working really well. So let's uh, just create a random post, right? <coughs> yes. And let's go into the console. Post.connection. And let's say post dot last. And yes, the user ID is added here. So I'm sorry about that. I just forgot that. <coughs> so
So yes, now we can go. We should probably run the server first. Now we can go to our profile page and add the post post set that the user created. Right? So the way we would do that is to go into the show at html.erb and uh, let's just really quickly do something like this. <coughs> Actually, we have to declare an instant va instance variable, so I'll just call this user posts, and this will uh, get the add user post. <coughs> just yes, it will. And uh, here we can refer back to that instance variable. Add user posts. Uh, dot each do this is what each post should do and for each post we would like to um, just link to it <laughs> link to post the title and we want to link to the post path of that specific Post. So let's see if this is working, and it is. So now we can click here, and it gets to the post. Or let's just create a new one to demonstrate another brilliant post. Here we go, and we can go to the users that one, and now there's another post. Let's just try to, for the fun of it, uh, create a. A new post yes there we go and it is working now every user will be able to uh, create their own posts and have it show up on their uh, on, on their profile page this is a, a really nice feature if you're building some sort of forum application which we will be doing in uh, the first course on backyard coding where this will come in handy. So uh, look forward to that. There will be, be a lot of other features in that as well. And I really think that you should be as excited about that. Uh, it's gonna be free. So all you have to do is wait, right? Okay, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.